I was watching CNN for a bit last night and John King, I mean, literally every time they went to the guy, he's doing the board, you know, like here's this county, here's that county. Blah, blah. Every time they went to the man, he made a comment about how this is how elections play out. It's beautiful. It's America. It's legitimate. You just watch it with your eyes. It makes me so happy. It's very unfortunate. These Republicans think it was stolen. It's very, it's not true. It's not true. They were talking about the exit polls showing, um, did, Bi did Biden win legitimately in 2020 for Iowa Republican caucus voters were, voters were asked? Did he win legitimately? Now, legitimately is an ambiguous term. Back to the discussion mm -hmm. I just raised. Uh, 65% of Republicans voters said no. 30% said yes. I totally get that. I, I get that. Legitimately speaks to the points I was making. Um, take a listen to John King having a repeated meltdown over that number. So many of these people about to vote in Iowa believe the election was stolen when it simply was not. That is one of the biggest changes Donald Trump has had on the Republican Party. The distrust in American politics, in the process, in, in the legitimacy of the process is a cancer on American democracy. And so as Republicans <laughs> watch this tonight, tonight, set aside anyone who tells you, yeah, but we do it right and the Democrats do it differently. Or if it's in a blue city or a blue state, they do it differently. It's just not true, historically. When so many people <laughs> have been told to doubt the integrity of elections, right? This, to me, as someone who's done this for 40 years, forgive me for editorializing, is the saddest part of our democracy that people doubt this. I love watching this because it's working the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> and that could have, I mean, could have kept that going for another 20 minutes still. Uh, it's priceless. Uh, you know, look, we we want trust in the system. It's funny that the the the, the the side of the aisle that keeps talking about trust in the system is like, you know, we really need that democracy, the kind with only one name on the ballot. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> um, you know, it's like I it's a totally bizarre sort of circumstance where they keep going down this road and, and making these arguments where they don't think they hear themselves speak. And by the way, this is very, very natural. Like parties say these things all the time in polls because they don't like the other side. It's really, it boils down to that at some level. The number yesterday in Iowa was 65, 66% of people who did not think Biden was uh, legitimately elected. But if you go back to the early Trump years, the, the Democrats were polling in the mid 70s is, was Donald Trump a legitimately elected president? They were saying the answer to that was no because of it's Russia so Gate or whatever Rachel Maddow was saying on her new Untrue Things program. Um, so <laughs> you, you, this is very much like the same thing happened with, you know, birthers and all these claims that kind of bu bubble up on each side. A lot of it reflects, look, I just don't like that guy. I remember talking to a few people back right after the 2020 election and and they were very convinced that the election had had been stolen. I mean, and I was just pressing on them, trying to understand what they meant, because I think. Republicans, to your point, Megan, would have done a should have done a better job parsing the differences you just talked about. I think a lot of times people were too hesitant to say, well, wait a minute, you know, some of these claims on the Internet are not true. But here's what is true. People were getting mailed ballots and we don't know what happened. Uh, rules were changed in ways that did seem unconstitutional preceding the elections. Things that Donald Trump and his campaign should have challenged before the votes were were counted. All of that is is really true. But I was talking to a few of these people and they were just like, I'm sure of it. It had to be elected. We kept going down road after road after road until they basically told me there's just no way America would elect that guy. There's mm -hmm. no way after seeing Joe so Biden yeah, stumble around on stage and not know seemingly anything about anything and not be able to get through a complete sentence. Uh, it, there's no way that guy could have received this many votes. A very rational, rational Thought. I mean, I don't know that I would have believed it either. Uh, there's a big difference, though, into what you were talking about and, you know, votes being uh, switched uh, at the ballot box. And I think that like, it would be fascinating to, to be able to rewind and see when you saw polling back in the George W. Bush era, where, you know, 50 and 60 percent of people believed 9-11 was an inside job orchestrated by, uh, by George W. Bush on the Democratic side. Can these, can these theories do go through parties, largely they are a reflection of partisanship, though, not the falling of all democracy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I to me, mm. Trump is a master messenger and he lost. He was upset he lost. He doesn't believe he lost. And he has spent the past four years trying to convince his base and the Republican Party that it isn't true, 
the same way, you know, the Ukrainian phone call was a perfect phone. It wasn't like just an okay phone call that didn't deserve impeachment. It was perfect. And everything he's done is perfect. You know, like he's he's a master messenger and he really can. He's very good at just repeating the same thing over and over and over. And he's definitely convinced large portions of the Republican Party that it was stolen in the way that I don't believe. And they're entitled to their belief. I don't really care. I don't need to convince them out of that. This is what my belief is. But I think, you know, his just consternation over the fact that they were like, he he went with stolen. They said not legitimate in their in their exit polling is very amusing to me. Just fucking move on. Like move on. We got to shore up the voting system. It's okay to kick the tires and make sure that it's better than it was the last time around. And by the way, not for nothing, but not not all the states vote the way Iowa does, which was kind of a beautiful thing to watch. I, I love seeing, I just write Trump on the back of my paper and I give it to you. And then you count, there are 40 people in this room. Do I have 40 ballots here? Here's some for Trump. Here's from for, for some for DeSantis. You put it in a basket and you sit, head, hand it to the head guy saying, here's our count. That's what we grew up with. That's, that is sort of legitimate and familiar to people. It's this other stuff, mail in the, you know, somebody shows up at your house, takes your ballot from you, you know, dead people voting. That's what gets people upset. All right. Different story. True or false. Using your tax refund to pay off credit card debt is smart. False. Well, donewithdebt.com published a strategy designed to let you keep your hard-earned tax refund and reduce or eliminate credit card debt. Most Americans owe thousands in credit card debt that will take years to pay off, if at all. Done with debt? Found that filing bankruptcy is usually not the answer, and taking out loans to pay off credit cards usually increases debt. When you engage done with debt, their legal experts and skilled negotiators will take on the credit card companies for you. Their winning strategies are designed with one goal, solve your debt situation quickly and permanently. First things first, chat with a done with debt strategist and explore your possible solutions. That Just that will make you feel better. Some debt fighting strategies though are time sensitive, so you do need to move quickly. Call right away, check it out now. For a free consultation, visit done, D-O-N-E, with debt, D-E-B-T dot com, donewithdebt.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.